Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I wanna go ahead and shout out Sean Nelson. This has to be one of the most disturbing videos I've seen in a while. This story's going viral and once again, the children of the damn cornbread in ghetto ass Georgia are back in the damn news, okay? So what happened is that you have two young female cornbread members, they decide to start fighting. You can see the mother there, she's in the thick of it all, instigating, not trying to tell her daughter, you know what, it's not that serious, don't fight. So these girls start to fight in, everybody's watching the fight, the camera person is recording this. And like any type of energy, I don't care if it's positive energy, I don't care if it's negative energy. Negativity tends to spread faster than positivity, okay? So these girls are fighting, then a few steps away, a group of guys start getting into it. And they run and go get baseball bats, they start fighting and everything. Then the girls end up, you know, stopping their fight and these guys are getting into it. Somebody jumps in their car. They're trying to attempt to run over a group of guys. These guys have baseball bats. They're beating each other with it. This scene is just so fucking chaotic. It makes no sense whatsoever. I'm so disgusted by what I just watched. Somebody sent me the raw footage. So now if that's not bad enough, while these kids are fighting, the guy in the car is trying to run over a bunch of kids. The camera girl almost got her ass ran over, you know, being nosy and recording all this shit. Um, eventually, this young kid, this young kid who's 18 years old, his name is Demange Bell. Bell. They claim that he wasn't part of the fight and he had been in the house. He decides to come out the house to see what the commotion is and he ends up getting stabbed in the neck. And you can see Demage running off of the steps. The girls are screaming and freaking out. Now it's been announced that this young boy is dead. He ended up dying this past Sunday in the hospital. Um, he caught himself trying to get driven to the hospital. Then he got sidetracked by another fight, jumped out the car. And then eventually the ambulance came and seen that he was bleeding. And then the ambulance ended up taking him to the hospital. I mean, it just boggles the mind. It just makes no sense to me that everything that went down in this video, now they're saying that this young man is dead and nine people, okay, not one, not the one person who stabbed him, but nine people, including the 37-year-old mother, have now all been charged with felony murder. When I tell you this situation is re-damn dickless, this situation is re-damn fucking dickless, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. It's a brawl in South Augusta involving dozens of people. The more than two minute long clip shows those involved using not only their fists, but pipes and baseball bats as well. It's turning into like an epidemic right now. It's, it's really scary because, you know, I have a child and you have this like a family community and you have to just like worry about stuff like that. For Ariel Cope and her four-year-old daughter, this subdivision has been a great place to live the last few years. I really couldn't believe I'm going to know not in our neighborhood because it's, it's so quiet. We don't never have any problems over here, so that kind of like really shocked me. The video in question also shows someone using a car to try to run some people over, even driving through someone's yard and smashing into someone else's vehicle in the process. Making God. sure my niece is safe, my mom's safe when she's coming home for work, making sure I'm safe home for work. It's just sad. Shakoya Bell also lives in the neighborhood. She says she went to school with some of the people involved in the fight. Now a lot of them have been charged with Damage Bell's murder. I don't know. That's the crazy part about it. All of them, and most of them, all, all of them in school getting ready to graduate this year. We asked Sheriff Richard Roundtree why so many people have been charged with murder, even though it was one person who stabbed 18-year-old Bell. All the Jordan on the felony uh, murder charge, it says any person who participates in a felony that results in the, in the, the loss of life of any person, regardless if they um, did um, the, uh, the criminal act itself of, of the murder, can be charged with that murder. You guys just watched that news clip and like I said that video is just so disturbing and this is why I say a lot of folks just don't take black people seriously we're always so quick to fight and hurt each other nobody hurts black folks more than other black people okay it's one thing for these teenage girls to start fighting but for the adults who are around to sit there and watch to egg it on to not try and break it up to say it's not worth it and then from what I'm hearing it was over a boy then these young boys start fighting and they're literally coming out there to kill because when you're coming out there with bats and knives and everything else, you're looking to kill somebody and it should never be that damn serious. You know, all these kids were supposedly on the track to graduating this year. I call bullshit. People who are on the track to graduating are not involving themselves in fuckery like this. 
You know, it just makes no sense whatsoever. And then that's another thing. People want to be nosy, sit around, watch bullshit like this. And now these same folks who were sitting around being nosy, they're also being charged with murder. I mean, the whole situation is insane. If that young man had been in the house the whole time, I'm sorry, but if I go looking out my door and there's a big ass melee and somebody in my front yard trying to run people over, I'm not going to go outside. I'm going to lock my fucking door and go sit my ass down. I'm not going to go outside and try and see what's happening. You know, if he was in the house, he should have stayed in the house. So I don't believe that he was in the house. I believe he was one of the people out there fighting and getting into the bullshit and he ended up getting stabbed. The whole situation to me is just re damn ridiculous. We have to do better. Now, all these people's lives are going to be affected by the prison industrial complex. All these people probably going to end up doing 10 to 15, 20 years in prison. And over what? Over a fight between two dusty ass girls? Over a fight between a guy? It just makes no sense to me. We have to start valuing lives. I mean, this whole situation is just disgusting. You got an 18 year old young man who's dead. He's never going to get to live his full potential. And now you have nine people who are being charged for his murder. And this is why I said in my Cat Williams video, when you have something to live for, you don't engage in fuckery and you keep yourself away from certain situations. When you see a big ass bra going on, instead of walking towards the bra, you need to be walking the opposite way. Because people who have things to live for, people who have goals in life, are not even going to entertain that type of fuckery. Because what can happen when you go to entertain fuckery is that you can end up getting fucked, okay? That's exactly what can happen. You know, so I'm just disgusted by this entire video. If you guys have not seen the full video, the video will be on my website. You guys can check it out. But like I said, I warn you in advance. It's just really, really disturbing to see how many things were taking place at once. You know what I'm saying? And that camera girl is really lucky while she's trying to be nosy that she was not ran over or killed. You know, the whole situation is just sad. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation. That's once again concerning the damn children of the cornbread coming from ghetto ass Georgia. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping on this entire viral story. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.